Taylor and Rebecca, you have come today to join your hearts and lives together. You're surrounded by people who love you, your friends, your family, who prepared you for this very day. Taylor Wink, I love you with my whole heart. Sometimes you are the most challenging person in the world, but I wouldn't want to marry anyone else. You are the person I dreamed of, the person I prayed for. I hope today is as special for you as it is for me. I pray that God blesses us with an amazing and perfect marriage. I hope we look back up today and realize that it's the day we loved each other the least. We've been through a lot, but as hard as those moments were, they made us who we are. I know this isn't going to always be easy, but please remember I will always love you. You are my rock and my absolute best friend. I can't wait for you to be my husband. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Love you back. I hope you've enjoyed your day filled with letters. I remember the first night I saw you. You were wearing blue jeans and a leopard scarf you love. We have laughed together and we have cried together. Now it's time to make it forever. I love you more than anything in the world. You've seen me at my lowest and you brought me to my highest. I can tell you anything and I'm not afraid to be myself around you. You're my everything and you mean more to me than anything in this world. I'm sure there will come a time when you and I are having a rough patch. I only ask that you never give up on me. I made you my number one priority and I ask that you do the same. I want nothing but forever for me and you and I will sacrifice my all to make it happen. Now come down the aisle because I can't wait anymore. Let's start forever. Rebecca Lane Foreman, you're the only woman that I adore. A contract is between two people. That would be between Taylor and Rebecca and Rebecca and Taylor. You've turned your back on the congregation, meaning that though you love them deeply, this is now the first love in your life. I vow to always keep the good times and laughter to a maximum. I vow to keep you smiling no matter the trials or tribulations we face and always to stand by your side. I vow to love you beyond any love imaginable, trust you, support you, and push you to continue to reach your goals. I vow to rem remind you of that person you really are, that 20% wine and dine, the 80% shotgun rider, singing sweet child of mine with your hat turned backwards, turning everywhere we go into Paradise City. I vow to consult in you in every decision that we make, keep us financially stable, and be your voice of reason when life throws its everyday nonsense at your feet. I vow to always keep you close, to never shun you or ever make you feel less than anyone on this earth. I vow to never leave you, I will always be yours, and I will only find comfort in this truly amazing relationship we have built. I vow to always be here, and I vow to always come home to you. These are my promises to you. I promise to love you, care for you, and to always be your best friend. I promise to always put God first and you as a close second. I promise to be slow to criticize and quick to comfort. And in all the bad times, I promise to always be the good in your life. I promise to always be a Gator fan and to never stop singing Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> and most importantly, I promise to honor you and to honor God in all that I do. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I too will stay. These are my promises to you. I pronounce it your husband and wife, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and you may kiss your bride. This once scared of everything, shy, timid little girl that I knew as a kid has grown up into one of the most beautiful, strong, smart, determined individuals. Taylor, you have your hands full, no doubt, but you made the best decision of your life today. She is all yours now, and I wish you the best of luck. I wish you both many, many years of happiness. I love you both very much, and welcome to the family today. If I can give y'all any advice, that is just always keep God in the center of y'all's marriage and everyday life. Go to Him in any times of trouble, pray together, and always be there for each other. Respect each other, and never give up on each other. Congrats. I love y'all both. We got a beautiful story. Every